Hi everybody, how are you? I am alive, I'm fine, I'm okay. Um, so I'm back and I thought I would do a re-intro for those of my for new subbies and also um, for anyone who is watching me for the first time. And of course I will do a update. So first I'll start with an update. Um, I don't know where to begin as it's been so long, it's been a few months now and I do apologise for that, it's been chaotic and hectic. Um, I am now working part time, got a part time job and I've also started up my business again um, from home where I am making children's clothes and I sell them online. So I've been, I've started that up again and that's doing really well so that's great. So that's been keeping me really busy and of course just usual day to day mummy things has been keeping me busy as well. So um, on to a TTC update. Um, basically it's been, as you know, for those who've been subscribed for a long time, it's been over two years TTCing now and um, I wish I could say that I am pregnant and all that sort of good stuff but sadly I'm not. I am still TTCing and um, still dealing with infertility and just constantly going back to the OB and he's basically um, given up on me which I think I mentioned last time and um, just saying there's no hope unless I go through IVF. So I basically have a new OB who is one of the top specialists in my state and I'm seeing him again on January but until then I have one more Clomid cycle which I can try which I'll be trying in the December cycle um, I just finished my November cycle it was actually 10 days early um, as some of you may know I have the most abnormal cycles I could either be spotting and bleeding on and off all month or I have no AF for months on end for no apparent reason. Um, my cycles can range from 30, 30 days to 40 plus days. Um, my longest was um, without AF was not, without AF was 90 days. So it's just up and down all the time. Um, my luteal phase is usually eight to ten days or like that. Um, but then it's all over the place now. So there's no real tracking. Um, since I last saw you actually, actually since I was updated last, I haven't really been tracking my cycles. I mean, I've never given up trying to conceive. I just haven't been tracking my cycles. Only like I use my iPhone to document when it starts and when it ends, basically. Um, but I haven't been using, I haven't used OPKs for like four months, something like that. But um, this cycle and the next cycle, I have. I will start using OPKs again and um, the next cycle obviously I will because I'll be doing my Clomid. So I've had two failed Clomid cycles. This will be my third Clomid try and it'll be my final Clomid try and then I see the specialist again in January to see what he will say and I'm hoping he can help but if not if he also agrees there's nothing else I could do, then I'll probably will just stop TTC. Of course, I hope not, and I hope, you know, that by some off miracle chance I will, you know, conceive on my own this month or with the help of Clomid next month. Which would be Christmas, which would be very exciting, as I love Christmas. So with my vitamins and stuff I have changed it a little bit but most things are the same um, I'm still taking my Blackmore's Gold Conceive Well Gold which I highly recommend and I'm still taking my calcium as well daily and my folate all from Blackmore's and vitamin B6 which I heard and um, helps with progesterone which I do get very low on but I'm also now taking um, Blackmore's Alive women's multivitamin 
daily energy sorry that's back to front and it's a whole food multivitamin which I heard and I've read up on um, on the internet is really good for TTC having a whole food multivitamin so I'm taking them as well and I do recommend them I have noticed my energy levels have risen from that which is always beneficial beneficial <laughs> which is also benefit so other than that um, my husband has been losing weight which is really great he's lost around 10 pounds he's on been on a diet for only two weeks so that's really good and he's getting his diabetes his blood sugar levels um, are finally like on track and um, under control the first time in a long time so that's fantastic news so that's only can help us and I've only been on a diet for a week and I've lost five pounds roughly five pounds so that's really good start um, I'm hoping to lose as much weight as I can before I start the Clomid cycle because obviously any weight loss between now and then can only help so that's my goal um, now for like a quick re-intro for my new subscribers and also for anyone watching me for the first time. My name is Bev, I am married to my husband Jason, we are both 34. I'm in Australia, in Melbourne. Um, I have four beautiful children, you might see in the background. It's an old photo, but there. Um, I've got twin boys, Liam and Jack and my son Brendan and my daughter Shayla. Um, I have been dealing with um, infertility since 2010 when I had a miscarriage, roughly nine weeks along. Um, we, I had an off with a little short story on my misca miscarriage. I found out surprisingly I was pregnant. We weren't trying at the time but we were very excited and was grateful and I was like over the moon that I was pregnant and we I had my first ultrasound at just after four weeks along obviously I didn't know how far along it was because I wasn't we weren't trying and I dated us about four weeks and then I had another ultrasound at six weeks and we could see the heartbeat like fluttering and that sort of stuff on the monitor and that sort of thing but it was measuring quite small so they told me to come back in about two three weeks time which I did when I was about nine weeks along and we found out there was no longer a heartbeat um, that same week I had the ultrasound I also had the miscarriage because I was spotting which was what made me came got alarmed I went to the hospital and I had the ultrasound and all that sort of stuff so I had a miscarriage in October of 2010 and I started TTCing as soon as I was allowed to that same end of the same year roughly November 2010 so um, and it's just been a battle ever since then ever since the miscarriage I've had horrible cycles I used to be my cycles used to be 30 days 30 between 30 to 32 days on the dot and my luteal phase used to be 14 days until the miscarriage and then it's just been up and down up and down and just hormonal unbalance and weight gain for no reason um, I mean I do yoga I'm also now doing fertility yoga which I highly recommend it makes me feel fantastic you know even if you don't believe in that sort of thing it always it makes me feel fantastic so I do yoga I do fertility yoga I do lots of walking and exercise I'm also running around after four children I work part time, I also do, you know, sewing, my home business, all that sort of stuff. So I'm a very busy person. You know, and I was gaining weight for no reason. I eat healthy, I eat plenty of salads, not many carbs, lots of fruit, lots of vegetables, protein, that sort of stuff. But yeah, I kept continuing to gain weight. And my OB has put that down to my hormonal imbalance and uneven cycles it just messes your body right up completely like I suffer horrible acne I never used to suffer like hormonal acne it's just really bad um, I just finished a cycle and through this whole cycle I had cold sores and acne all around my jaw and my chin thankfully and it's cleared up now that my cycles finished like even my naturopath as soon as she saw me she said 
you got a hormone imbalance because of my acne it's just horrible so anyone who suffers from hormonal imbalances and like really low progesterone and high estrogen all that sort of stuff you know can relate to that um i've had countless and countless and countless blood tests and ultrasounds and they all say i'm fine like um i just but i just can't ovulate i they don't understand why and they don't know why but my ovulation has stopped i don't release an egg um on both failed clomid cycles the blood tests that you have on cycle day 21 both come back that i didn't ovulate so even at 50 mg i didn't ovulate at 100 mg i didn't ovulate this final clomid cycle will be on 150 mg so it's as high as you can get or as high as they will give me so please have your fingers crossed for me that it will work or that you know i mean currently you know my cycle just finished um it went for 10 days um i'm not sure i should have got my phone with me but i'm not sure what cycle day i am i'll put it down below what cycle day i am um but i am headed towards the usual time where you ovulate and all that good stuff that normal healthy women do so fingers crossed this weight loss and this healthy eating i've been doing for this past few weeks maybe even you know increase my chances to ovulate naturally so okay. sorry my daughter's in the background sorry what I'll be there in a minute, okay? And you'll wash it. Okay, in a minute. So, sorry. So, um, yeah, so let's, fingers crossed that it will so, somehow magically make me ovulate on my own. Um, I've read often, and also my naturopath says, even if you lose, you know, four pounds or two kilos if you're in Australia or whatever, that could even, like, make you ovulate. Um, and just take stress out of your life. So I'm trying to meet, that's why I'm doing yoga, to try and relax more, because I am a stress head, and I am a workaholic, and I do like things to be perfect, and all that sort of stuff. So that could be interfering. So this whole November and December, it's all about relaxation, and healthy eating, and exercise, and weight loss, and just being calm, and just pray, and be positive, and hope that everything goes well, and I finally get my BFP. So before I go, firstly, I just would like to say congratulations to all the TTCs that I'm subscribed to and that since I've been away and have come back, have got their BFPs, are really doing well in their pregnancies. I am so over the moon. I'm so thrilled for you. Congratulations. Um, Sam and Jay Sherman is back. Oh my God, if you do not watch their daily vlogs, click below. I'll put a link to their daily vlogs. I cried when they came back. I was so, so, so happy. So Sam and Jay, I'm so glad you're back. Phoenix and Lily are adorable. Um, also, I love watching... Um, um, also, sorry. <laughs> and also, with all the other TT series who are still trying, I'm with you. Um, I'm here for support. I will be doing more regular updates. I'm thinking fortnightly um because the reason another reason why i was gone for so long i think it's just really hard to constantly come on and say well it's another bfn it's another bfn i'm still not pregnant i'm still not pregnant i'm sure you all be sick of hearing that from me repeatedly so again if you have any ideas for vlog or if you like a weekly update or a fortnightly update let me know um, but we'll be doing more updates on a regular basis so thank you so much for staying with me and supporting me and sending me messages and all that really good stuff I thank you very much and I'll talk to you all again soon bye